In Creo Parametric, if you have a simple cabling assembly, you can use the light version of the harness manufacturing extension in order to create a flattened harness. And with the light version, you can flatten a cabling assembly with up to five electrical components and 20 conductors. If you take a look at my assembly here, I have four wires in a bundle and four different connectors, so I can use HMX light. If you need more conductors and cables, you can use the standard version which gives you up to 20 connectors and 50 cables and conductor conductors and with the advanced version you are unlimited let's take a look at how to do this to make my flattened harness using HMX I'll go to the applications menu and here we have harness manufacturing Here's the dialog box for setting it up. You'll notice with the light version, almost everything here is grayed out because you don't have many controls over doing anything. So I've got the name of my harness here. Here's the drawing setup file that it's going to use, some margins that are defined, and parameters for the bill of materials. There is a tables tab and different table properties that I'm not able to configure. From the configuration tab, you can control your symbol display, some output file creation options, length inflation, this is a big one, adding additional fudge length to your different cables to account for slack or drip lengths. And then we have the info over here, which just gives you some information about HMX. And it actually comes from this company called Virtual Interconnect, Great group of people. I've met them at LiveWorks a few times. They're based out of Scotland. Just a great group of guys and women. All right, let's go back to the Flatten tab. And now we can click Flatten Harness. And it's doing some work over here. It's creating the flattened version of the assembly. And now I'm getting this warning in the drawing. Hey, the flattened harness does not fit within the selected border. Would you like to rescale it? Yes, I want it to fit within the border of my drawing. And so it adjusts it. And right now it's using a scale of 0.502. I can select the drawing view and edit definition. Let's click on the scale over here and change that to a scale of 0.5. That's a much better number. And then click OK and it adjusted the view. In a moment, I'll take you over to the flattened assembly to show you what you get. But you can see my different connectors are laid out over here. And we've got different dimensions, like I've got this nine dimension. If I want to, I could reposition it. Just get my dimensions where I want them to appear and get them to snap to each other as I am moving them. And again, just making this nice and pretty in here. Ah, let's move this out over here just to avoid that note and grab this one over here and drag it. Let's hop over to the flattened assembly model. I will select it in the model tree for the drawing and then right click and choose open. And here you can see what we get in here. Let me try going to one of my saved views in here. Let me try the front view. That's good. The genius way that the harness manufacturing extension works is rather than taking all the different location points and laying them out and then having all the cables through there it ends up reducing your harness down to a bunch of sketches, a bunch of different lines and coordinate systems for locating the components. So it's a much more robust way of working. And later on, I'll do a video of the Pro Harness module. And you'll see that it really hasn't been updated in a couple decades and it's a little difficult to use, but again, Harness Manufacturing Extension takes a lot of the work out of the process for you. And we've got our sketch feature over here. I can click on the edit button. We have the different dimensions over here if you want to manually change them. But just be aware that this, as far as I've seen, is not going to update the different tables on the drawing. So for example, I'll change that to 10. Hey, let's change this one over here to 7.25, just adding a little bit more slack in here. Maybe change this one to a nine and change this one to 52 whatever uh, I can change it in here and then choose regenerate and it actually updates the sketch but let's hop back over to the drawing 
and here we have the drawing in here. The, these dimensions updated in here accordingly to the values that I changed them to. You'll notice in the bottom left hand corner of the screen, we have a title block in here. Now let's go to sheet two. In sheet two in the upper left hand corner, we have the harness run table giving our from information and our to information, the wires, what kind of spool that it uses, and also the length of the wires that are necessary. And as far as I've seen, if you're manually updating the dimensions in the flattened assembly, these are not updating. So just be aware of that. Let's go to sheet number three. And sheet number three in the lower left-hand corner, here I have my bill of materials for my different connectors. I have one of this connector and I have three of this other different kind of connector. So that in a nutshell is the harness manufacturing extension light version for a quick and easy way of creating a flattened harness. In later videos, I'll take you through how to use Pro Harness for manually flattening your cable assemblies. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.